Okay guys and welcome to the Unity Speech Bubble Tutorial. So what we're gonna be making today is this. I'm gonna give you a preview. And yeah, basically this is this should be your NPC like the cylinder I have here. And basically when you get close to it, a speech bubble pops up. Now I have it saying only hello and if you rotate around it the speech bubble actually looks at you. So yeah. Anyways why don't we uh, get to it then? Okay, so I was actually asked by a subscriber to do this video and I looked into it and it was actually pretty simple so I decided to make a tutorial on it. Okay, so now that I have my basic scene set, what you want to do is place your NPC. In this tutorial I'm just going to use a uh, cylinder to be my NPC. Okay, and move it over to this side. <coughs> Okay, now what you want to do here, let's actually, I think it's, oh, I have it in my first person control, drag it out, okay. So, um, 1.5 I think is the height needed, yeah. Anyways, go into your NPC, let me just rename this then. And go add component, and we want as a capsule collider I'm pretty sure so go capsule collider and what you want to do now is find the capsule collider it doesn't matter I have I use the cylinder so I have to make the capsule collider into a trigger and make the right radius higher and why isn't this playing right now oh there it goes and yeah, 5 should be enough. Okay, so what you want to do now is go on the NPC, right click, go uh, UI, and Canvas. Now, if I zoom out, why is the canvas so small? Screen space overlay, yeah. Oh, no, it's not small, I just didn't see the edges. Okay, so yeah, you can see the canvas is really big, but we want it just floating above our NPC down there. So what we're going to do is go screen space and go world space. Now this will allow us to change the pixels, so let's do something like 300 by, I don't know, like 200 maybe. Some might be. Actually, let's go 500 by 300. This just says the size. Now this is still really big compared to our floor and everything. But what we can do is change the scale. So let's go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.005 on all three axes. Okay. And now if we zoom in here, you'll see it's smaller. Uh, set the position to 0, 0, 0 out all the way. And yeah, you can see now that's actually a pretty good size about what we need set the height to whatever you want <coughs> and let's add just a quick text UI text ok let's see let's just add say hello and font size of Nope, that's too much. Oh, we actually want to stretch this out. So hold Alt and go into this part. Okay, so yeah. Here we have the hello. Now, if we actually just have like this, it will be out all the time and it won't follow us around. So what we need to do is make two scripts. <laughs> So, the first script is uh, going to go on the NPC itself. Go add component and I'm going to call this NPC collision. New script, JavaScript, create and add. Now open up uh, the Timon develop. Ok. 
Okay. Let me just resize this. Oh, I have to open. That's why it gave me the error. Okay. So, uh, first off, we need a variable for our canvas. So we're gonna go var canvas of type canvas and end the line. So function start, we're gonna change into uh, function on trigger enter. And here in the brackets we're gonna put info type collider. Okay, so here we want an if statement. So if info dot, dot tag is equal two times equal by the way to a string of player, then what we want is canvas dot enable equals true. Oops, lowercase canvas dot enabled equals true. Now what we can do is just copy this function on trigger enter and we actually okay, copy it and paste it here and make this function on trigger exit. And canvas dot enabled equals false. Actually, what we want is st we actually do need a function start. So I'm just gonna function start. And when we start off, we want the canvas to be disabled. So canvas again lowercase c dot enabled equals false ok so now go back into your unity editor oh I misspelled it here canvas ok whoops there we go Yeah, I actually misspell a lot of things in my tutorial, so just, oops, I didn't assign it. So go into your MPC, find the script here, and drag your canvas game object into it. So, now when I get close to it, why isn't it appearing? This is strange. Well, I figured out what was the problem. I forgot to assign my player the tag. Where is it? On tag the tag player. Okay, so now if I go in, yep, there we go. I forget out of range. Now the range is whatever you set your cl uh, collider size to. So yeah, but it's still not following us around. So for this. We want to go into the canvas, add component, new script. Let's call the script, I don't know, maybe text rotation. Okay, open it up in model develop. And what we want to do here is go variable player of type transform with an uppercase T and in function update go transform dot rotation is equal to player dot rotation okay control save I usually spam control save Okay, uh, you also need to set, of course, in the canvas, set the player. So, now if the text is following us around, then I fell off. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It was a quick one. Of course, with this canvas, you can do, like, pretty much everything I showed you with the other canvas. You can even have it, like, be mouse buttons. 
so you can press with your mouse and stuff. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Actually, later on this week, I'll be having an announcement video, so look out for that. Until then, see ya.